And Trump's administration has proposed big cuts to the Environmental Protection Agency, and it's getting a lot of attention around here because the Chesapeake Bay stands to be a big loser. And that's why we called on our Scott Broom to explain a pollution phenomena called the dead zone. Here is a little bit what it's like to be a fish this time of year in parts of the Chesapeake Bay. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. That's because in the hottest part of the summer, as much as 15% of the bay has no oxygen in the water. It's called the dead zone. I can't breathe. How can this be? It's because pollution from millions of places in six states and D.C. all get carried into the bay by thousands of streams and hundreds of rivers. Here's a satellite shot of muddy runoff from space. And when the pollution gets here, nasty algae helped by the summer sun feed on it and grow like crazy, like in a dirty fish tank. It makes the water dark and cloudy. Oh, and all that algae sucks all the oxygen out of the water. That's the dead zone. The fish die, and the crabs have no place to live. So that's why the Trump administration's proposed 31% EPA budget cut thing is a big deal. Because when you got six states in D.C. polluting the bay, it's tough to get them all to agree on one set of rules. Especially when a lot of the pollution comes from towns and cities hundreds of miles away where people really don't worry about the bay. Since the EPA's Chesapeake Bay program started in 1985, they've helped states agree to one set of rules and they've helped fund improvements to things like sewer plants. That's why one algae-feeding pollutant in sewage, phosphorus, dropped 75% since 1985. <laughs> oh. So the equation's pretty simple. Cut the EPA budget, make the dead zone bigger, kill the fish. On the Chesapeake Bay, Scott Broom, WUSA9. Well, that was intense. The Trump administration proposed a 31% cut to the EPA across the board. Congress just voted on a bill that would trim the Chesapeake Bay program by 18%. Elizabeth